Hello everyone. So today again we are going to talk about a very important topic in international finance and that is your triangular arbitrage in currency. So after the end of this session you will be well equipped with the knowledge of this triangular arbitrage and uh, believe me that if you understand this particular concept very clearly you will be kind of uh, sitting on a very good concepts that can benefit you in future when you start trading in currency market okay because this currency market is very liquid in nature and it is uh, not traded in only one country this is not limited to one country this is actually uh, very well diversified and it is traded across many countries so whosoever countries are dealing with this exchange rates because of the supply and trade and demand right so all those countries will be having their exchanges over which this currency pairs they trade right so it might happen that if suppose you take an example of usd or inr so in india the price of usd inr could be different from the price of usd inr which is trading on united states of america so because of this mispricing that exist for very less period of time so what happens ultimately what is the uh, logic behind uh, if you find something is selling at a lower price at one place and the same thing is selling at a higher price at some other place so what ultimately comes to your mind ultimately what you will think of in your mind certainly you will think that why should not i go and buy the same item at a cheaper rate and sell that item at a higher rate because that is you are observing right it is in front of you that opportunity is in front of you but if you don't avail that opportunity someone else will avail that opportunity so but so this opportunity exists for very less period of time so this opportunity can be understood for a very uh, uh, conceptual uh, topic that is known as your arbitrage arbitrage is nothing but it is the simultaneous purchase and sale of same or similar assets in different markets right so this word is very important simultaneous purchase and sale of same or similar assets in different market in order to profit from the tiny differences in the assets listed price okay it exploits short lived variations in the price of identical or similar financial instruments in different markets or in different forms okay so as i said that this opportunity exists for very short period of time until prices becomes equal in different market okay so we'll be understanding this topic in a very uh, comprehensive manner right so let's understand it better arbitrage trades are made in stocks commodities and currencies and this is our topic today that we will be finding this opportunity in currency market okay suppose uh, as i said that for the same currency pairs like usd and euro this is the price which is quoted in united states of america right and this is the price you find on germany exchange right so what you observe here the price in united states of america is different from price in germany right so what you can think of in your mind you will buy from united states of america and you will sell in germany because you buy at lower prices and then you sell at higher prices so whatever is the gap is your benefit right so arbitrage is simultaneously buying usd EU, euro in usa and selling usd euro in germany so this trade has to be executed simultaneously that means together okay so risk less profit so once you execute buying and selling at the same time that means you are closing off your position you are squaring off position at the same time right so you are making risk less risk less profit and that profit is equal to your 0 0.0010 per usd for for 1 euro okay so this is the arbitrage so there are instances where an inefficiency exist across different markets where one market is overvalued and another is undervalued so because of that this price different difference exist right so this price differences between exchange rate exist for a very short period of time providing an opportunity for arbitrageurs so who are these arbitrageurs those who do arbitrage trading those who find this arbitrage opportunity 
to make riskless profit they are known as your arbitrageurs and in order and in order for this form of arbitrage to be profitable a trader must trade quickly with a large amount of capital okay so what is triangular arbitrage so this is the definition of triangular arbitrage because here uh, three currencies will be involved so earlier we just we tried to understand the arbitrage concept through two currencies right but that rarely happens okay but in case of where if we mix three currencies and then we try to find out the arbitrage opportunity then certainly you will be successful in finding the arbitrage opportunity in most of the time right and this is what we are studying today and that is known as your triangular arbitrage so it is the result of a discrepancy between three foreign currencies that occurs when the currencies exchange rates do not exactly match up right so these opportunities are rare and traders who take advantage of them usually have advanced computer equipment and programs to automate the process so they have like automated softwares like algorithm they have so whenever that algorithm or the uh, code or the command they find that there is an arbitrage opportunity there is a mispricing between the currency pairs so they immediately they execute the buying and selling together to cover that riskless profit and then they make profit and then they exit the market so this is what we are going to study so we'll be understanding this with an example so this is the example so as i said that three currencies will be involved so the first currency is your usd second currency is your inr and the third currency is your great britain pound okay so these are the exchange rates which are giving given here on the screen and which are trading on three different markets so the first one is that one usd is equal to inr 82.10 that is trading on mumbai stock exchange mumbai currency exchange sorry then the second one is your one great britain pound which is equal to your 120.50 inr which is trading on london exchange and the third one is one great britain pound is equal to 1.6231 usd which is trading on new york exchange okay so now question continues that one of the arbitrageurs has usd 1 crore okay 1 crore usd one of the arbitrageurs that means that arbitrageur that trader is a citizen of us or an entity of us or a bank of us so they have this 1 crore usd in their hand assuming that there are no transaction cost so transaction cost is not in, not involved in this so transaction cost is something that is the uh, that you can understand with uh, the brokerage charges that you give to the exchanges for buying and selling these uh, currency pairs so for time being we are ignoring that okay so explain whether there is any arbitrage gain possible from the quoted spot exchange rate so you need to find it out if there is an, any arbitrage opportunity and if there exists arbitrage opportunity what is the profit that the us entity will make out from here so before proceeding further uh, since uh, the arbitrageur is a citizen of uh, us or an entity based out in us so we'll have to first either convert this usd in some currency okay then we'll have to check the arbitrage opportunity if that exists into these three uh, currency pairs in these three countries or not right so to do that first we'll have to find the cross rate right so first we need to find the uh, usd rate which is given in the direct quote right so which of these three are the direct quote for a us citizen remember the concept direct quote is what when the price currency is the domestic currency when the price currency is a domestic currency that is known as your direct quote so among these three this third one is your direct quote for a us citizen because this says that one great britain pound can buy 1.6231 usd since usd is a price currency that is in numerator so it is the direct quote for united states entity so this we will not change this we will not change we will freeze this remember this is the first stage now apart from these two 
apart from the other two we will try to find out the exchange the cross rate exchange cross rate of the same pair so from this usd and inr and gbp and inr can we find out the cross rate between usd and gbp yes we can find it out so that is what we are going to do it here why we have not touched this because this is the direct quote for us entity because arbitrager is based in us we will be we will not touch this we will keep this ideal for time being and with the other pairs of currency which is trading on other two markets we will try to find out the cross rate so you already know that how to find the cross rate in the previous classes in the, and in the previous videos in length we have discussed like how to how to calculate the cross rates right so using these two find the cross rate of usd and gbp okay then we will compare that rate with the usd and gbp which is given which is existing in new york right so let's start that so considering these two currency which is trading on mumbai and london we find out we found that usd gbp rate is equal to your usd oblique inr into inr oblique gbp this is the method of finding out the cross rate so ultimately you find what the cross rate is 1.4677 and you already have this direct quote for a us entity so here usd oblique gbp is equal to 1.6231 and here it is 1.4677 so this says that in 1 gbp one can buy 1.6231 usd and here 1 gbp can buy only 1.4677 so here you observe that there is a difference that means there is an arbitrage so to execute and to make the riskless profit what you do you buy where the prices are less and you sell where the prices are more so this is what you will do you will buy here okay and you will sell here with this quote right so how do we go about and do this right so this will be the first stage since you know that you have uh, this currency pair right which is trading in mumbai so you already have uh, this this is trading on the market and you have 1 crore usd so in 1 crore usd how much indian rupees you can buy so that you need to calculate okay so since 1 usd was equal to 82.10 so 1 crore usd will be equal to multiplied by 82.10 so that will give you this much right so in exchange for usd you have this much amount of inr with you right and with this inr what you will do you will buy great britain pounds right so for that you will have to go to london stock exchange so go to the london london stock exchange where the one inr is equal to 0 0.0083 gbp if you convert this if you inverse this you will get this price right so that already you know that how to convert this into inr and gbp so once we have this rate so we can convert this much amount of inr into gbp which will give you which will give you ultimately this much of great britain pounds so what will what will you do with this gbp now you will bring this gbp in new york and then you will buy usd okay so since 1 gbp is equal to 1.6231 so 6814300 gbp will be equal to this much amount of usd which will give you this much amount of usd so remember here initially you had 1 crore usd now you have more than 1 crore usd in your hand right so you visited three stock exchanges since you found that there is a mispricing there is a difference between the currencies a pair which is trading because of the three currencies which are involved here so you try to uh, gain profit from the arbitrage opportunity so ultimately once you had this one crore of usd now that has become more than that right so to find out uh, this arbitrage opportunity what are the steps involved this i have explained in detail that you need to go through once again you can repeat this the sim it is a similar process that i executed just now okay so what is the riskless profit triangular arbitrage profit that has 
that uh, this particular entity has made made so that will be equal to your one zero six zero two nine zero usd that is the profit this particular trader or arbitrageur has made so i hope you understood the concept of what is triangular arbitrage and how this particular uh, concept helps the currency traders to make riskless profit and that riskless profit itself is known as your triangular arbitrage so this involves three currency pairs and you need to visit three currency uh, exchanges to execute this trade right so this was all about today's concepts i hope uh, you understood the concept better if you have uh, still got any kind of doubt you need to go through the uh, direct code videos right so the videos in which i have explained in detail that what is direct code and what is the cross rate uh, calculation how the cross rate is calculated so all those concepts once you are through with that you come to this video again and you watch this video and again this concepts will be very clear to you right if you still get any doubt you can contact with me right so that is all about today right thank you so much for giving uh, time all the best